guys. I am, um, <clears throat> Oh, as you can tell, I'm in my car. I thought I'd just vlog this week um, because it is April 12th week, which means in England. Sorry, I'm just... Oh, it is currently Monday, April 12th, which means in England, loads of restrictions from lockdown have been eased. So we can now go to salons, we can go and eat in restaurants and pubs and bars and stuff outside. Non-essential shops are open. Gyms are back open. So lots of things are open from today and i've got like a couple of things booked in this week i've gone crazy with the bookings i kind of forgot to book and loads of things are booked up now so i've got like a meal book tomorrow i'm going shopping wednesday hopefully i thought i'd just bring you guys along this week and i'm working today i don't think i'm going to film too much today because it's kind of like e-com style stuff it's like a styling day so it'll be like new clothes i probably won't be able to film but i thought i'd just bring you guys along show you this week see what we get up to and the weather's changed it was meant to rain all week but now it's meant to be sunny all week so the weather's on our side as well i want to show you my outfit because i'm wearing like a new jumper new trainers and stuff and it's quite cute it's kind of wintry this jumper but it's so soft you'll see i don't know if the haul will be up before or after this video but you'll see it in the haul as well on these little heart ones and it's green my favorite colors i'm about to get going and i will film as much as i can today i feel like everyone's just gonna be in a really good mood because we also what is this line can you see this line here it looks like a massive like i don't know like a cut in my forehead but it's not also this this lump is still here i've got a hospital appointment on friday so i don't know whether i'm going to be getting it removed it seems to be going down a tiny bit anyway i've got to go otherwise i'm going to be late i'm now here i've just parked up if i'm like driving into london or i've got a park in london like for work why won't my phone stay okay this is a weird angle but um yeah whenever i have to like drive into london if there's no parking around where my shoe is or like wherever i want to go i use this app this isn't sponsored by the way i just thought i'd share it because it's like it's really helpful for me so um some of you guys might want to use it now that things like are opening up more in london as well it's called just park you basically like type in the address of where you want to go and then it shows you people who are renting out like their driveway spaces yeah that's what i use and it's so helpful like i'm literally in someone's driveway right now when they announced these dates of getting out of lockdown it just felt so far away and now like I actually can't believe it's here. I'm at 20 this year and the only club I've been to as an 18 year old was in Ibiza. Someone's walking past. I'm gonna act like I'm not talking to my phone. guys it's now the next day i realized yesterday's day ended quite abruptly i didn't really end the day but basically i just went home i modded some candles i wanted to unmold and then went to sleep that was pretty much it obviously today i told you i was going for lunch with my friend it's just the nature of my job turns out i'm back working where i was yesterday again today this was like, okay cool we'll do like a picnic in the evening after work um, and now she has work this evening as well, so I'm basically just working again today. I'm hoping to see her Thursday though. I'm in a good mood anyway, the sun's out, like, I don't know. I like this week, it's just good vibes. So yeah, I'm off again today. I get to be there slightly later. I get to get there at two. Um, so I'm gonna leave soon. I'm just gonna have some lunch quickly. But I'm wearing this outfit. You've probably seen it a thousand million trillion times before. Um, green denim set from Zara and this cropped white jumper, my white bag, and I'll probably just bring a coat in case it gets cold later. The plan again today is just work. <laughs> I've just arrived at the studios now, I'm just washing my hands. This um, on my head is literally giving me a headache. So, oh god, you're on the tissues I need to dry my hands with. This is gonna be a mission. Please. That was a fail. Day two of work. I just hit my hand. Why am I literally the most clumsy person ever? I'm ready to start day two. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm 
gonna speak really quietly because lots of people around but I don't know if you can hear me I'm now at the hospital waiting to be checked out to be seen about this it's actually like 8 a.m I'm so tired from the side it looks worse but I also didn't have time to do my brows so I did bring the brow gel with me I'm gonna have to try and do it while I'm waiting if I ever point get widlets. That was the quickest hospital appointment I've ever had in my life. Also, I don't think I told you, it's currently Friday. I'm literally finished at eight o'clock. My appointment was meant to be at eight. Like, what? I wonder if hospital's ever been this quick, especially during COVID. But it was all good, all positive. They're gonna remove it. Hi guys, this vlog has been a bit all over the place. I started this vlog early last week because it was April 12th week. I had plans to go out with people and then I basically found out I was working pretty much every day that week. I think the last clip you'll see is me getting my sis checked. And then we went to Bista after that. I'm not too sure how much sense I made because I was walking. Also, ignore my really messy wardrobe back there. Let me close that over. There's nothing to worry about. I just want to see if I could get it removed. They said they'd remove it, but in about four weeks time. And I can't get it done privately because it's classed as cosmetic surgery. But it seems to be going down quite a lot. Um, so hopefully it just carries on going down. It's now the following Friday, so I think a week on from that last clip. I haven't really vlogged this week. I just kind of had a more chilled week. I went out like for my first meal after lockdown yesterday with a friend. So I had a smoothie this morning, did a workout, so I'm feeling good. I had some lunch, had a shower. And now me and my mum are going into town because she has a day off today. So we thought we'd just have a look around. We haven't properly explored the town since we moved here. We moved here at the end of last year and then kind of went into lockdown. Down. so we're gonna have a mooch around the shop see what we can find i want to get a disposable camera developed stuff like that and there's also this pink blazer i want to get from h&m so i'm gonna see if i can find that because i don't have my size online but that is the plan for today then i need to come home finish editing the haul i have some exciting plans coming up which i'm hopefully gonna vlog so sunday i'm going out with the girls just for like a pub lunch um, i haven't seen them in so long so i'm so excited for that and then if I'm not working next week, on Monday I'm going out with another one of my friends who I've been friends with since school. So we're going to London for a meal and drinks and stuff. And then Tuesday is my sister's birthday, so I'm going to see her in her new flat as well. It is a beautiful day out today. Ignore my frizzy messy hair. Had these plaits in yesterday. And I got some lovely scarring from spots. So if anyone knows how to get rid of spot scars please let me know we're now in town where do you need to go tiger mark spencers oh i'm gonna get one over h&m mango john lewis Oh, yeah, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Where well, we're for our feet take us. Why is it? How cute these little dog collars are. Such nice colours. Colours, I love that dark teal colour. They're so pretty. And like the pastels for spring. So nice. The shop has loads of like little small businesses in it and they each have their little like business card it's such a good idea i'm so obsessed with these i might have to get them guys if you're into that like you know like that rattan furniture is in at the moment tiger is it called flying tiger or tiger tiger have some really nice like rattan bits in at the moment what like is these little holders they've got little baskets they've got little trays they have some good bits i'll do a haul when we get back I'm um, aware well, this is literally like the worst angle in the world, but I'm back from town now. Why did my mom go like that? I'm back from town now. I thought I'd give you a little haul of what I got. I didn't actually get that much, and I literally forgot to go to the one shop I literally went for. I went to go in H&M and Mango, and I forgot to go to Mango. 
because mango actually have some really nice stuff at the moment i feel like they're getting a bit more like zara vibes but anyway h&m was a foul anyway i didn't find the pink blazer i just got some stuff from boots look how gorgeous this packaging is and what this lighting is crazy. also how cute is this bag it's so colorful and fun from boots i just got some makeupy bits i only really went in to get lip liners i wanted to get some new lip what is going on with this light i wanted to get some new lip liners and people say nyx do some good ones i have a really nice one from nyx i just don't know i haven't figured out what lip color suits me i don't like anything too dark i feel like more berry tones may be my color but i don't want anything too dark and dramatic but i got two lip liners one's in shade mauve 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 and one's in shade london everyone says nyx london is really good i'm gonna swatch them now because it's so annoying in store well it's not annoying i get why but you know you can't like swatch stuff in stores now so honestly i think trying to buy a new foundation during a pandemic if you find the right shade you need to go and do the lottery because that luck is just some other level i would swatch it on the back of my hand but my hands are disgustingly dry at the moment i'm sure you all really wanted to know that it's really like orangey brown this is like the worst light but i don't think i'm gonna like it okay so this is mauve can you guys see that and then i got another l'oreal brow artist plumper but i can only get this really mini version if i'm not using a clear brow gel so if i have slightly heavier makeup on i'll use a tinted brow gel i got a setting spray because obviously i'm going to be wearing more makeup this summer we can actually go out and i feel like you know where you've got to wear your mask like everywhere apart from when you eat so like Wearing it on the train just destroys my makeup. So I decided to invest in a setting spray. I think I've tried this out before. But I've heard good things about this. It's Urban Decay All Night Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Quick, sp ow. Quick spritz of this. Oh my god, what? It has like a double lid. Quick spritz of this before I leave the house. And hopefully makeup lasts longer and then i got these stick on nails any models out there will feel me on this one everyone was so excited to get their nails done at the end of lockdown and it's just not really an option for me you can't really get your nails done if you're a model because if you have a job like the next day you'll probably have to get them removed anyway so stick ons look like the way forwards i've never done stick on nails before i look quite slim um and i have quite slim fingers so you literally can't even see the color of them uh there we go they're just like a nudie pink so i think i'm gonna put these on tomorrow ready for sunday monday tuesday but yeah that's all i got oh i didn't even shut up i'm so done it's you about to end this haul without showing you what was in this dior bag the dior addict lip tattoo i've figured out i'm more of a lip tint kind of girl if you guys know sean lily she got one of these off of someone else's recommendation i think she got the shade darker so i got shade 571 and obviously it was hard because you couldn't swatch this either oh god it looks so dark this is the color it kind of blends out to thought i'd give it a go it wasn't obviously the cheapest product i think it was like 30. hopefully i love it because if not i will be annoyed with myself now i'm going to go and have a snack because i'm peckish i'm a bit hungry and i can't wait until dinner so that is basically the story of my life. I'm going to look at my wrist. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm probably just editing the video. I'll probably put this back up on Sunday before I leave to meet the girls. Hi guys, it's now Sunday afternoon and I'm just getting ready to go out with the girls. I've literally dressed for like autumn winter because it looks pretty cold out today. I think it's going to be like 12 degrees and obviously we're going to be sitting outside for a while. So I want to make sure I'm warm and toasty. So... I've just got this jumper on. I have got a long sleeve top underneath as well. And I'm just going to wear jeans and a coat. But I'm going to try and quickly apply these nails now. I've only got like 20 minutes to do them. And I've never done a stick on nails before. So hopefully they're pretty straightforward. Do I use the glue or these tabs? Okay, we're going to go with the glue. Hopefully that is stuck down. Oh my God, this is so fun. I feel like I'm in a little nail salon. We've got a glue spillage. We're just wiping two down i'm gonna come back when i've done them okay i am now ready to go my nails are done i'm not gonna zoom in on them because my hands are so dry i'm just gonna moisturize them in the car on the way there also this is the dior lip tint that i got yesterday no day before yesterday and 
I don't usually go for this sort of colour. I literally just did like the tiniest bit and dabbed it on. Um, so it's nothing crazy, but I am so excited to go and see the girls. I'm literally just wearing this sand coloured jumper, my blue jeans and my Dior trainers. And I'm going to use my new Zara bag you would have seen in my recent haul. Yeah, I didn't really film anything yesterday. I've realised that. Um, oh, my wardrobe's open. I was just kind of like catching up with the girls. I haven't seen them in probably since like last year. So yeah, it was so nice to catch up with them. Um, it actually wasn't too chilly, which was nice. I'll only seeing them again next weekend, hopefully. Oh my God, look at that hair. That's so annoying. Um, I know I just got ready to head out again. I'm going for dinner with one of my friends from school that I've known for such a long time. Um, again, I haven't caught up with her since last year, so it was due. I wish this was live. I need your guys' help. I don't know how to have my hair. I was planning on putting it in, what them clips call they like banana clips or like, not a crocodile clip. You know, like them big, let me just show you. I don't know why I'm trying to describe it. One of these clips. I was planning on doing one of those. That's why I've got a middle part. But then I'm thinking maybe I should just keep it down. I don't know, it's looking a bit frizzy though, isn't it? It's probably just gonna annoy me. I don't want it like blowing around, getting in your mouth while you're eating. I just don't want that. But I'll show you my outfit. Okay, so this, okay, you can't see. Let me switch the camera around. This shirt is from, I think this shirt is from like Dorothy Perkins. I've literally put a white t-shirt underneath because I don't want to be cold. And I got this trench delivered today from ASOS. I feel like trenches are such nice, like, classy coats to throw on over outfits. And they're, like, super lightweight. So I thought it'd be perfect for um, kind of transitioning into spring, summer. I really love, like, the sleeves on it. They're really big and puffy and balloony. Yeah, I never really owned, like, a trench coat like this. So I think it looks kind of nice with the shirt underneath, like, the high neck shirt. Not my shirt. I need to tuck it in. I haven't dressed myself properly yet, but I've just got my Zara jeans on with it. And... I don't know what shoes, whether to kind of dress it down a little bit with trainers or to put like my heeled boots on. Maybe it's like a classic sunglasses on the head to keep my hair back. Let's see how it looks. Do you know what song I've got stuck in my head? Kiss Me More by um, Doja Cat and Scissor. It's so, oh hi. <laughs> it's so, um, it's very catchy. I don't know if I like that. I'm not sure. Let me like hold it in place in the clip and see. So I'd have it roughly like this. What do you think? Do we think the more like sophisticated hair done up look? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm ready. I decided to leave the hair down. That could be a mistake, but I've got hairbands with me and I'm bringing this little brown bag with the gold stripe. Got some gold jewels to match. And I'm just about to do a spritz of perfume. I'm using the YSL Black Opium. This is like the perfect like evening night scent. Smells so delicious so if you're looking for a new perfume i definitely i'm gonna like claws then but yeah i definitely recommend this one or i also love the machino toy 2 that's like a nice um more like daytimey scent but i'm about to leave now get the train to meet my friend golden hour also if hello i've got my mask off because there's literally no one around if anyone felt left on a cliffhanger of what shoes i decided to choose i went for I went for my Zara trainers to match the trench and keep it more cash. Oh my god.